Hey there everybody, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I am here with the September Alcrate box. Um, thank you so much to everyone who commented on my last video about being not okay. I appreciate your support and kindness more than you realize. Um, I am feeling a lot better today. I am still very stressed out, feel like very, very busy, but I'm not as like freaked out about it today. Does that make sense? Okay. So we've got our box and I've got my sword, so we're going to cut the tape and get into it. I don't want that to fall out. Oh, is that a skull? It is. I've forgotten what the theme is supposed to be this month. Let's see. Oh, Memento Mori. That is Latin, I believe, and it's something to do with death, but I don't remember exactly what it means. It's been a while since I studied that stuff. Okay, setting you aside. All right, we have a drawstring bag. Cresswell and Wadsworth. Something smells really good. I wonder if there's some kind of um, scent spray or potpourri or like something, like a candle. I don't know. But there's going to be something that smells good in this box. Okay, back to this bag. Investigative Services. Belgrave Square, established 1888. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so this was made by Lichen and Limestone and it is inspired by Stalking Jack the Ripper. Okay, let's get to the pin. Now, confession, I have lost one of my Alcrate pins from this year. One of the um, literary luggage pins. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went. Um, something maybe in the chaos of like decluttering my office and stuff, maybe it fell off. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm kind of bummed. Anyway, we've got a new pin and here it is. This is inspired by an ember in the ashes, and it is number nine, being September. Sarah Moon Festival. That's pretty. I have not read an ember in the ashes, and I know that's ridiculous because it's been out forever, but I just haven't. If you've read it, uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, if it was good. Should I hurry and put it higher on my TBR? All right, what are you? Stories are the wildest things of all. So this is like a leather or probably vegan leather square pouchy thing with a zipper. Oh, is this like a jewelry box? Let's see what I can find out. Yes, yeah, so, so this jewelry box is a uh, travel size inspired by a monster calls. And this box features a design by at Raven Pages Design. Okay, we've got this box here. Um, and on the back it tells us, Everything casts a shadow, even the world we live in. Light your way through the dark corridors of crumbling manor houses or overgrown gothic gardens with this lantern inspired by Gallant. Designed with love by... No one. No one designs apparently is a thing. Let's take it out and look at it. I'll tell you what, Gallant, like that book, nails the spooky atmosphere. If you're ever just in the mood for an atmospheric read, go read Gallant. Oh, 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 oh. So it is mirrored. Hello, camera. Spinning around the office. Okay, um, you're not going to be able to see the words on here because of like the glare on the mirror part. So one side um, has like a little garden gate with some flowers. Another side says some people are repelled by darkness, others are drawn to it. Another side has like the front of the mansion. And then the last side it says these dreams will be the death of me. Ooh, yes, and it does already have batteries in it so it will light up. Cute, perfect for spooky season. After I clean the little like foam stuff off of it. All right, now we've got this uh, cute pouch and it's a bag holder thing. It's got a hook on there. 
So you set this on a table or something, like when you're out to eat and your, your purse can hang there. Um, oh, there's a book that says Memento Mori, but the book's really dark. You, there's no way my camera will zoom in close enough to see this correctly. Um, so you're going to have to trust me on that one. Let's see. And this was designed by at Paperback Bones. All right, we've got a candle. It is by Flick the Wick, and it says one flesh, one end. Sea salt, musk, amber, cardamom, and citrus. White wax. Hmm. Definitely strong on the musk. It is definitely a musk candle, and it smells amazing. Oh. All right, I believe we're at the book. And what do we have? The Depths. Nicole Esperance. L'Esperance. Exclusive signed edition. Let's take a look. Pardon me for a moment. Well, excuse me, but I think you've got my chair. No, that one's not taken, I don't mind If you sit here, I'll be glad to share Well, it's usually packed here on Friday nights Oh, if you don't mind, can I talk you out of a lie? Alright, so here is our card and it says, Dear Alcrate Reader, I've always been a fan of gothic novels and movies, sinister stories of crumbling mansions, wandering ghosts, and tormented heroines. When I first thought of writing The Depths, I decided to take all my favorite elements from those stories, but change the setting from a haunted house to an island. Eulalie Island is as beautiful as it is treacherous, with its sandy beaches, crystalline water, and flower-filled forests. But lurking underneath it is all a dark, beating heart. And when the island falls in love with someone, it never lets them go. What? I hope you enjoy reading this book as much as I did writing it. All the best, Nicole. That is, wow. The island's going to fall in love with someone and never let them go. All right. So with this book, um, on the back, you can see deep down underneath it all, the island's heart beats. Oh, look at these end papers. That's beautiful I'm such a sucker for fo oh my gosh I was about to say I'm such a sucker for foiling but then I saw there's more so we have a print right on the hardcover got a couple chillaxing in a pond a spring a something and then that wraps around to the back and we have art inside the dust jacket as well All right, so the end papers continue for another full page, and then we have the um, author signature page for Alcrate. Very nice indeed. Same beautiful foiled end papers on the back. All right, let's see what we can learn from the dust jacket. Eulalie Island should be a paradise, but to Addie Spencer, it's more like a prison. Forced to tag along to the remote island on her mother's honeymoon, Addie isn't thrilled about being trapped there for two weeks. The island is stunning, with its secluded beaches and forests full of white flowers, but there's something eerie about the place. After Addie meets an enigmatic boy on the beach, all the flowers start turning pink. The island loves you, he tells her, but she can't stop sleepwalking at night. The birds keep calling her name, and there's a strange little girl in the woods who wants to play hide-and-seek. When Addie learns about two sisters who died on the island centuries ago, she wonders if there's more to this place, things only she can see. Beneath its gorgeous surface, Eulalie Island is hiding dark, tangled secrets, and if Addie doesn't unravel them soon, the island might never let her go. Alright, newsletter. Oh, wow. Alright, here's our cover comparison. So, here is the original cover, quite different. I do really, really like the cover that we got, though. It's beautiful. And I have to say, I love the artwork on this, like the theme card and the newsletter. Like, this is calling to me. Last but not least, we have our theme for next month, a study in shadows. 
Yes, that sounds fantastic. Every October box will include the next paperback classic designed by Rena Illustrations. They have had some really beautiful illustrated classics like Frankenstein and others. So I think Pride and Prejudice was the other one. Um, anyway, this was a nice box. What is my favorite thing? Um, the jewelry box is like just something that I haven't gotten um, in a subscription box before. So I, I think I want to say that just because of its uniqueness. But also like that candle. It smells amazing. One of my students was uh, asking me today, when are you going to have another candle that you want to give away to us? Sorry, guys. This one is not going to be a giveaway. All right. So uh, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, magical bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.